Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Underwood with Elliott Beach Rentals. Now that the busy summer rental season has come to an end, it's time again for the file evaluations. No matter if you've been with Elliott for years, or if you're a new homeowner on the rental program, the following short video will help you better understand the importance of taking a yearly look at the condition of your property, as well as some helpful do's and don'ts that can increase your rental income and frequency of rentals. Thanks for taking the time to review this information. Maximizing rental income is the number one goal for vacation rental property owners. The secret to enticing the customer to rent is to offer them a property that has been well maintained and kept up to date with its decor, furniture, and electronics. Poor property condition is the culprit in most rental complaints that result in a renter wanting to be moved to another unit or in them wanting a significant refund for a property that did not live up to their expectations. Not keeping a property maintained and up-to-date hurts the homeowner in other ways as well. When potential customers are looking at properties online, they will book the ones in the higher beach ball categories early at the higher prices before discounting. The lower rated properties tend to book later and usually at discounted rates. Another disadvantage that comes along with lower rated properties is that they will not book as often as the higher rated properties causing even more lost opportunity. It's important to understand that owning a vacation rental property is a business and not just for owner's personal use. Along with that comes a different set of requirements that may differ from what the homeowner would normally encounter if they were the only ones using the home. Things such as wear and tear, maintenance around the home, ensuring that there are no safety hazards keeping furniture and decor up to date, and keeping the outside of the home looking good are costs that are part of doing business in the vacation rental market. Failure to accept this will ultimately affect the homeowner's bottom line in a predictable, negative way. Let's look on the positive side and talk a little bit about how Elliott can help with the process of keeping your property in optimum condition and maximize rental income. Furnishing a vacation rental property is very different from furnishing a personal home. The furniture and decor items are going to take a lot of wear and tear, far more than one would experience in their own home. That is why it's important to utilize quality built products in your rental property. Even small investments can have a big impact on the bottom line. Here's some basic do's and don'ts that will make a positive impact on your bottom line. Vacationers want a colorful interior. Using colors can give the renter the feeling that they are much further away from home than they really are. A colorful decor also helps make them feel happy in the event that their visit during a time of bad weather that keeps them inside a lot of their stay. Using high quality, semi-gloss paint can be cleaned easily in high traffic areas of your property. Use tables, dressers, chests, and nightstands with plastic laminate tops, or use glass with smooth edges on the tops of these furniture pieces. These are easy to clean and will not leave stains, condensation rings, or water spots. They will not chip or show noticeable wear like solid or veneer tops do. Always use quality built case goods that utilize metal drawer guides. This is one area that you do not want to skimp on quality because it will cost you more in the long run as you will have to replace furniture more often. Use quality built dining chairs that can be easily recovered if fabric seats and backs are desired. Wood seats and backs work best as they are more resistant to staining than fabrics. Never use spindle back chairs as they are easily broken with very little effort. Select heavyweight stain resistant fabrics on all upholstery pieces. These fabrics wear well and hide stains from inevitable accidents. 
Polyester blends or olefin materials can better withstand the elements of a rental property than that of a polished cotton. Polished cottons, microfibers, and other lightweight upholstery fabrics are not durable enough to withstand the daily wear of sunlight, chlorine, sunscreen, and guest usage. Choose a sleeper sofa with a commercial grade mechanism that is designed to be opened and closed every day of the rental season. Sleeper sofas like you would purchase for your home use are designed to be pulled out only a few times a year and will fail quickly, creating issues with the guests. Use solid, neutral color draperies. It is much easier to match new furniture or decorative accents to a single color than a busy print. Patterns also tend to quickly become outdated. Be sure to use commercial grade, blackout line draperies, and heavy duty rods and carriers, preferably with a baton draw. Use quilted, Lightweight commercial grade bedspreads that utilize a print design with a lot of color and pattern to age gracefully and not show suntan oil spots. They should also go all the way to the floor and require no dust ruffles. The type of flooring to use is a question that comes up often. Vinyl plank flooring is becoming very popular and provides a very attractive look along with great durability. It is very easy to clean and comes in various patterns and colors. If you choose carpet, use solution dyed nylon carpet with a high density fiber and low cut pile in a neutral color. Tile is a popular choice and is more durable than carpet but can be a little more difficult to keep clean than one might think and is subject to cracking. Tile will have to be steam cleaned at least once a year to keep it looking good. Normal mopping will not get the grout completely clean. Use a darker color grout if possible. Another choice that is gaining popularity is manufactured wood flooring. It has a great look and is very durable as well. Guests love to be outside to enjoy the beach air and the ocean by relaxing on sturdy seating that is not torn or rusted. Keeping outdoor furniture in good condition is a must. Never let outdoor furniture get in disrepair. Not only is it a turnoff for the guest, it is also a potential liability issue. Outdoor furniture takes a lot of wear and tear from the guests as well as from Mother Nature. Coastal air attacks everything that is outside, like a daily dose of sand and salt blasting causing wood to rot, metal to rust, and plastic to become brittle. Keep a close eye on these conditions as they arise and replace when necessary. Avoid using wallpaper in coastal rental properties. Coastal locations are areas of high humidity which can lead to moisture being trapped indoors and spur the growth of mold and mildew that can lead to significant damage to your property. Avoid using solid color bedspreads. Print designs with a lot of pattern and color work best. The bed in a bag concept does not work well in a rental environment because dust ruffles and shams are difficult for housekeepers and the laundry to keep up with. Dust ruffles tend to be very delicate and tear easily. Once one of the pillow shams goes missing, or the dust ruffle gets torn, it makes the bed setup look awkward and unappealing.
Never use vertical blinds, especially on sliding glass doors. They are not designed to withstand the heavy use in a rental property and breakage cannot be avoided. Use blackout line draperies with flame retardant, quality grade fabrics, and heavy duty hardware. If you choose carpet, avoid using Berber style carpet. Although it looks nice at first, it is one of the most difficult styles of carpet to keep clean due to the nature of its construction and fiber design. Even when all the dirt and oils are removed, it still has the tendency to look dirty. Ask any carpet cleaning company and they will tell you that Berber carpet is at the top of their list of don'ts. Don't use recliners. Stationary chairs work best. They can be used with or without an ottoman. Recliner handles and mechanisms fail often, causing frustration for everyone. Avoid furniture with moving parts if possible. As we complete the property evaluations this fall, we will be contacting each homeowner with details of their individual results. If we see that a property is in need of an upgrade, we will be very specific in what's needed. Elliott Beach Rentals will be offering a new service this year that has been developed specifically to assist homeowners in making upgrades to their properties. The program will include the following. Design consultation. Access to quality grade products at negotiated prices. A detailed and itemized proposal with specifications and product and installation pricing. Project management from start to finish. We understand how frustrating it can be for homeowners to get a project accomplished with multiple vendors. Our staff will oversee the project from start to finish and work closely with each homeowner to get the most out of their upgrade, as well as taking the stress and worry away that often comes with projects of this nature. Elliott Beach Rentals will provide the project management for the upgrade for a fee of 10% of the project cost. We will place all orders for the project and have the vendors invoice the homeowners direct. We will make sure the work gets completed in a timely manner and to the agreed upon specifications. After a final walkthrough, we will let the homeowner know the final payments can be made. We hope this information has been helpful. Our goal is to help our homeowners achieve the revenue goals for their vacation rental properties. We encourage each homeowner to utilize this program to put themselves in the best position possible to maximize their revenue. You can depend on Elliott Beach Rentals to be your partner in success.